I'm recording this video to speak about intent and uh, give an example of the kind of things we should set for ourselves for the year 2024 as uh, we often reach this time of the year and um, enter a time of reflection as for one we are off work we're with family more and we have more time to assess our life situation and how it could be made better or maybe the issues that we may be encountering and what we may, may want to change for the next year. So for myself, I have set the goal in 2024 to essentially reach a culmination of the efforts I've put into my career and many different aspects of my, I suppose, leadership skills of sorts. Um, it's weird the idea of calling myself a leader in any way or form because I'm so used to serving or helping others. Um, I, you know, over the last year have um, spent a lot of time um, practicing on my public speaking as I previously was very kind of nervous speaking in front of crowds and uh, often spoke too fast or found it very hard to pronounce, um, partly because of my silly little accent uh, <laughs> living in Oxford, um, but also just I have a very fast working mind. So it's just it's good to kind of practice on slowing things down and uh, bring yourself to a level where you find it more easily to communicate to others to make the job for them much easier and also for yourself to not simply have to repeat everything that you say um, over and over. So um, with me kind of moving into 2024, I kind of um, am working to get myself into a position where I can hopefully educate others and um, that can maybe be through my, my full time job where I've been training and training and uh, have you know, had the fortune over the last, um, I'll say 14, 15 years as a designer um, to encounter many different leaders and um, observe their mistakes and their successes. Um, much of my early career, for one, um, I found to be very limiting, very kind of withholding, I suppose, me as a new designer. Um, the simple kind of questions you would ask as a new designer to an experienced designer would be kind of, well, that's obvious, you should know that. Um, and I often kind of encountered uh, the same issue where they just simply were just withholding information or either berating or um, belittling me for not knowing these simple things. And it only takes just a moment to spread just a tiny bit of information to another person so they can then know that forever. It's such a little thing though, but for some reason, some people feel the need to kind of um, safeguard uh, information, whereas I certainly do believe, as well as many others, believe that information should be available to all and we should share our knowledge. So with my kind of experiences through my career, I've you know, hoped to kind of get myself into a position where I can start to change the norm and, you know, I'll say the norm isn't exactly people behaving like that though, but you do encounter it quite commonly through the industry, but at least be part of um, that better mindset of people sharing their experiences and also it's review and compare as well. My uh, my knowledge may not be always up to date. So it's good to share that and where, you know, in a, a way that allows others to counter what you're saying, actually to say, actually, Kieran, I think you say you could do X, Y and Z, baby. Have you ever thought about doing it X way? Um, because I think it may be more efficient. You may have better results, um, whatever the reason might be. Um, just getting myself into a position where I'm more exposed to just better concepts and better ways of thinking just in my career alone can provide a much happier life for myself and also I would feel more satisfied kind of you know helping others um, that's kind of my goal as a part of my kind of uh, new renewal I suppose and also through that maybe if my social platforms go anywhere at all they probably won't but I'm just going to try anyway it doesn't hurt Again, using it as an opportunity just to share my personal learnings. So through this particular channel, I share um, my art uh, pieces and uh, inevitably I'll be leading on to showing my kind of techniques behind the production of um, my designs. Um, there's the technical side of things, how I do it, you know, I make things digitally, use Adobe Illustrator, all the standards really, nothing really kind of surprising there. But also the why. Um, when I make certain pieces, um, how it allows me to think through certain things to improve my mental health and uh, review certain life events. So I may maybe experience, you know, that thing of uh, Vujardet. I think that's my uh, word of, I think, 2023, Vujardet. And that's simply the opposite of deja vu. Whereas deja vu, you um, experience something um, and almost 
it's almost like it's happened before basically think oh, i've done this the, 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 it feels like it's the first time but at the same time i feel like it's i've done it many times over Fujiade day simply being the opposite of that is something that you've done time and time and time again and have simply encountered it one more time and that day everything is entirely different you see things in a new way so through this channel and sharing these things maybe i may spread a bit spread a bit of uh, vujar day to um others and uh, see how that goes so yeah i suppose the reason why i'm saying this is just to set, show an example to others um you know form your goals you know see what what version of you may be better this year as you know it's a quite simple goal and uh, achievable goal to aim to be better than you were yesterday iterative change leads to larger change and simply simply forming a goal will allow you to get there step by step and yeah you're going to make a lot of failures next year there's going to be quite a few things that will go not particularly in your favor learn from them review them try not to get angry i get angry sometimes <laughs> everybody does you get angry at yourself so in those instances where you do get angry be a bit easier on yourself you know you, you get angry because you almost expect there to be no failures. You expect there to be no plan B. It's okay to take a plan, plan B. It's okay to take a plan C and so on. Just be easier on yourself, set those goals. And, you know, I'd be interested to hear from any of you really. What's your goal for this year? You know, what, what kind of person do you want to be? And um, yeah, maybe I may achieve my goal by the end of this year. Maybe not, doesn't matter. I just aim to be better than, than the year. Uh, person that I was before and um, yeah let's see what the next year brings good luck to you <laughs>